Craig, an 80 points to 17 win over Bedford. Uh, absolutely stunning performance today. Uh, what a what a way to come back after a, a week off. That's fabulous, isn't it? Yeah, uh, perfect way to come back into uh, the next block. Uh, obviously, we're building now for Newcastle in a few weeks' time. Um, but that, that performance there is exactly what we spoke about uh, from the start of pre-season, really. Um, everything we've worked on through the week, we've made a, put a big emphasis on our attack and keeping ball in hand and playing with a bit of ambition. And that's exactly what we did. Conditions allowed like they haven't probably for the last few weeks. Um, but yeah, perfect, perfect way to, to start this block off. Certainly best performance of the season, best performance for a very long time as well. Um, how good did it feel out there? Oh, really good. I think we spoke in the huddle there. When we're on the front foot, we're just playing rugby and that's yeah. that's when we're at our best and that's exactly what we did today. Uh, it's easy for, for us as halfbacks to control what's going on because uh, everything just falls into place. So that's exactly the performance we wanted today and, and, and really thankful that we've got it from the boys as well. Yeah, I know you love playing on the front foot. How good were the forwards in the first half, particularly kind of at the breakdown, getting you that quick ball? It was it was absolutely relentless, wasn't it? Really good breakdown. Best it's been all season. Uh, best it's been for a long time. Uh, and that correlates nicely into how we're trying to play. And those forwards put a hell of a shift in today. Uh, boys that come on off the bench, there's no change in momentum as well. And that's the biggest thing at the moment. We're seeing ourselves kicking on when uh, boys are coming off the bench uh, momentum-wise. And that's really good. Yeah, well, I think we'd had the bonus point wrapped up in about 12, 13 minutes. The intensity throughout as well was just uh, fabulous, wasn't it? It was just kind of literally non-stop the whole way through. Yeah, we know we're good when we start well and we come out the blocks. Uh, we put a big emphasis on that for most games. And, and doing that today, we sort of blew them out the water early doors. And then and then we can sort of get ourselves into our game and just keep the keep the foot on the pedal. Yeah, had 50 up by half time, only conceded one try in the second half and scored another 30 odd points. Was that the biggest positive as well? Obviously we had that Jersey game here where it went a little bit south in the second half, but really kept, kind of kicked on and showed what we can what, what we can do. Yeah, I'd be lying if, if I said we haven't really, we didn't think and, and speak about that at half time. Um, we wanted to come out here and, and finish the job off um, and we did that really well. And I know going on personally, I was, uh, I was pretty knackered out there and I think most of the boys were. So for us to have kicked on in that second half and hold them out for the points we did in that second half and, and top it off like we did as well is perfect. Yeah, in terms of player ratings, there'll be an awful lot of 9, 10s out of 10s. Does that just show kind of when we're playing at our best how, how good we can be? Absolutely, yeah. I think we're set up to play that way. Uh, and when we do, it just shows that everyone sort of falls into their into their role perfectly. And, and that's, uh, like I said, it's easy for me as a 10 and, and our 9s as well. Do you think we've got a bit of a benchmark for the rest of the season now, perhaps? Yeah, absolutely. As I said, we're building in towards Newcastle now. And, uh, and that's the kind of performance we're going to have to have when we come up against some loads of ambition and, and play kneeling way and that's uh, that's a benchmark as you say. Yeah for you man of the match straight from the tee certainly kind of rekindled that form from the end of last season if you like you must have really enjoyed that. Yeah personally uh, obviously conditions allowing you to play on the front foot it was uh, it was good today and, and the boys putting a shift in around me makes it a lot easier and uh, and like I said it, everything just kind of falls into place and that's when I really enjoy playing with rugby and, and as a team that's when we look really dangerous and uh, uh, what are you, 80 points to 70 win over Bedford, uh, stunning performance, must be absolutely delighted with that. Yeah, I said to the boys just there, the first um, 40 minutes was some of the best rugby I've seen since I've been um, in charge. I thought they were absolutely brilliant, our breakdown was good, um, it's nice to play on a dry track and we haven't had that for yep. a while, and um, show some of the stuff we've been doing and working on in training. Um, as coaches you often talk about an 80 minute performance, is that pretty much as close as you're going to get to it? Look, there's, there's definitely things that we will still want to work on, our line out wasn't great today, um, I didn't think second half we maintained that level of intensity, but we still made an intensity that, that was too good. Yeah, it was uh, just the start again. It's a real trait of ours, isn't it? I think we had the bonus point wrapped up within 12, 13 minutes. It's just fabulous the way we come kind of flying out the blocks, isn't it? Oh, it's just enjoyable to watch. Yeah. Um, I think there's been a few games this year that where we've you, you, you have to change based on the, the conditions sometimes, and you have to play in the right areas, but we've got some really good players, and I thought today they just went at them. Yeah, you mentioned in your programme notes about kind of entertaining the supporters was that probably the first time this season where we've just been flat out 80 minutes you know 12 tries in total it was great to see and plenty of smiles in the bar I imagine oh, after. probably we did it against Bedford first cup game and also against Antill first cup game here um, but that was start of October and yep. the weather's changed since then and we've had to adjust um, but today was a very very good performance yeah uh, kind of the intensity at the breakdown to give us front football in that first half was outstanding wasn't it yeah, we want to challenge our nines to get there and yeah. get that ball away. The ref actually just said to me there that he didn't think there was a single breakdown in that first yeah. half. The ball was just so quick. So um, fair play to the guys. Steve-O's been working hard with them um, at training with that breakdown area. 
um, and they got their rewards today. Yeah, in that second half, how pleased were you that we only conceded? I think it was one try. Obviously, we had that Jersey game where there were a few let in, so it was good to kind of uh, shut them out, wasn't it? Yeah, not not even so much the try conceded, more the fact that we our intent was to still go and um, score points, and that's what we want to do as a team. Yeah, nines and tens today, very strong. You, you've kind of already mentioned it, but when we give them that front football, that's exactly what you want from them, isn't it? Yeah, I thought Fauzi ran himself into the ground. He had a great um, start to the game, um, and then to be able to bring Hampo and added some tempo to that as well. Um, and Craig, I thought, had his best game so far this season. Yeah, in terms of kind of intensity, have we set a bit of a benchmark now for the rest of the season, perhaps? Yes and no. That's that, that, that's what we speak about, or we've spoken about all pre-season of how we want to play, and that's how the guys have trained. So um, that's how we want to play 100%. But we also have to be flexible and adjust if we need to. Man of the match from Craig Willis today he was outstanding, wasn't he? Yeah, he's he's enjoyable to watch when he's like that as well, and and he's. When he's high on confidence, um, like he was as that game um, developed, he's unstoppable. Yeah, just a word for the bench as well. Obviously, they came on pretty early in the second half, and they kind of there was no let off, was there? They kind of, if anything, kept up the intensity. No, and that's the competition at yeah. the moment, um, especially up front. We've got a lot of guys fit and. They've got to work hard to get those opportunities to play. JC hasn't played for a few weeks and ended up going for um, full 80 minutes today and you wouldn't have known he hasn't played. Yeah, after a win like that, I guess we just want to get straight back into it. How excited is everyone for uh, Amp Hill next weekend now? No, it's just great. This next three-week block, we've got three-day training weeks yeah. um, all the way through. So for us, um, we had a lot of short turnarounds in the early part of the season where we're not able to probably correct as much as we wanted from the previous week. We're now into a block where we can work on a lot of things in training training and this is the first week where you've seen some of that and I thought you saw it today. Yeah, obviously looking to book our place in the knockout stages. These next two weeks will be crucial for us to get kind of seedings as high as possible, won't they? Yeah, look, I'm, I'm not too worried about that at the moment. Yeah. Again, it's more about our game. You saw you saw that being developed today and how we want to play and we want to do more of that next week. Um, and just finally, big win for the Vets last night as well. Uh, some of the old boys out there must have enjoyed that one. Yeah, I had to play a full 70 minutes. Jimmy only played 60 because he got uh, sent to the sim bin. So it was um, it was nice to get out there with a few guys that I used to play with, and also um, myself, Jimmy, Paddy, Owen from the um, sort of backroom team got to have a little bit of a run and a beer afterwards. So it was very nice.